DeFi IoT, I want to give you just a quick update. We bought two Kiteras with Planet Wash today. We went back and forth, back and forth. We had four of them come available with our group. Remember, there's a whole bunch of this. There's 12 of us in our group. Plus, we have another group of people, actually kind of lower income people, families. But we have each members of the families that have a group that we put together that we try to help out in building the networks. That's what we were doing with Planet Watch, World with Helium, and others. Now, you know, we made the purchase today and we took a gamble. And I don't know if it's good or bad, but you're going to have to make a decision. Just a month ago, you could buy a Katera and you had about a year before, it was gonna set, before you were going to run out of the uh, recycle bin, right? So you get paid in your maximum uh, planets, which are about 46 a day. Double be aware. That's cost about a little less than double. The license is about the same. For a two-year license, I think you're $60 or maybe $90. I don't remember exactly. However, keep in mind that just a month ago, you had a year before that recycle bin would run out like AWARE has done. We bought today, one month later, and there's only six months left. We won't work out, baby, until this recycle bin will expire. Planet Watch just keeps on selling licenses and keeps on selling the products. I strongly am concerned about Planet Watch's financial stability because it looks as if they're trying to make their income off of selling devices instead of selling data to end user clients. I think they're out trying to do that, but I don't think they have much success. So just keep that in mind. Be aware of that. You know, we've got licenses, 10 more licenses for that we're going to pick up. For the twos, I mean type threes, we're not going to do it. We have type ones coming. We're just going to pick up one. That's going to that's going to run out as well soon. We'll pick up one, maybe two, and that's it. We had a whole bunch more of those two that we bought licenses reserved, and we are going to back off on Planet Watch and let Planet Watch prove to us that they really are going to find people to buy this data, this environmental data. I think that they're really thinking that the governments really do care that much about it. You might have some to do, but I'm not saying we shouldn't care. I'm just saying the reality is that they really don't care. I told you in the last video, I was sharing my experience working with government officials and having to get approvals and EPA checks and so forth on projects we were doing. And all that was a matter of just, you know, they offered to be paid on the table. Or just doing favors. I, I know try to strive to get water, clean water put into this community in Central America. It was like 15 miles off the road. People tried for years. Even the community tried for years. Nothing. I just took them fishing a few times. Ran a nice big yacht. Did some smooshing. And just became friends. And guess what? Within the next six months, plans were approved and water got put in. Now, I had to come up and help out, pay a little bit of money, $50,000 I had to pay. And then, like, I think 25000 more we had to pay for getting all the permits. 25000 with the permits. Where did that 50000 go? I don't know. I know I got the community water. And at the end of the day, we reached our goal. But that's my point. And there's more I can tell you, but I won't. But the government officials really are not all that concerned about our planet. This is more of a power move. And I know you might disagree with me. But unfortunately, you just have to look at the fruit. How do you know truth? How do you know a good tree and bad tree? You look at the fruit, you taste the fruit of the vine. And that's going to tell you. It can look like, like a fruit tree, but it can have bad fruit, even poisonous fruit. And in a lot of cases, that's where the government sits on our environmental concerns. So, Planet Watch, I think, is going to be up against a struggle right now. We'll see how they play out. We've got what we got. Actuality, if you want to return your awares, you can. If you haven't opened your boxes, you can return your awares. You can ask them for a return slip. They'll send it to you, and you can return your awares. I know that um, we're doing that. We have a whole bunch because we're putting in all these homes. So, we're going we're gonna to send back about 15 of them. The rest we're going to keep and try to help support the project. 
but we're not going to buy any more, no more licenses. In fact, today my office said, look, let's just go ahead and refund our license. I said, no, let's wait. Let's give them, let's give them the rest of the year and see what happens. So we're only going to buy probably one or two type ones, and that's that's all we're going to buy anymore. And we're going to sit with the license we have and wait to see it prove for Planet Watch to prove that they can actually sell to third parties the data they're talking about and sell it the way they're talking about, not sell it to governments that want to actually take advantage of those devices in your home and actually use that for other types of information and data that can be used against us. So we want to be careful with that too. Right now, it's difficult to do, but in the future, that could be a possibility. Plus, when they're talking about coming out with new new devices, more Type 4 devices, they need to say, that's it, no more Type 4 licenses until we get clients. Otherwise, what's going to happen is people are just going to turn them off. Most people aren't hooked up and don't have them hooked up in a home because of what they do. I hardly ever look at it. I look at it once in a while when we're cooking, we have gas over the window, but a lot of people don't. And um, I think that's the reality of it. I heard a YouTuber yesterday. He was doing the funeral. Like, the wearer's dead. You know, he's basically saying it's dead and giving the last rights to wear. And he said, you know, they tell us that they don't want crypto people getting into this just for the cryptocurrency. And he said, this is what he said. That's not what I'm saying. He says, and you'll know who I'm talking about. The guy likes to drink beer. He says, I don't really care about the project. I just got into it for the passive income. That's what I do. And if you want to have passive income and you don't want people like me getting involved, then that's your fault, not my fault, if I'm overselling your product. And I thought to myself, what a jerk. What a complete jerk. And that's exactly why we're suffering in a lot of these projects, why they oversell. These guys create these hype, and they'll go and start talking about Oh, no, we're making seven dollars a day. Yeah, for a moment we made that, but they don't tell you the reality, and that's what we try to do here: is be real. And I know sometimes people feel offended by it, or they don't like it. That's not our intention. I just want to be real. So if you like real information, where things are going, and we do our best, it's our experience. We're just telling you what we're learning, what experience. I spend a lot of time every day studying and researching. That's right. Pat myself on the back. We study the truth. So is my team, and we 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 install. We, we don't have one or two or three or four. We work with a lot of people to put these in their homes and develop the networks. We help the program. But if we're going to put the money out for the infrastructure, then you need to pay people to have the infrastructure. Otherwise, you have to go pay to put your own infrastructure. And that's what the advantage is in having us and the people put it in is we pay for the infrastructure. We share it. So, therefore, there should be a compensation for it. And that's something I'm a little irritated with Planet Watch is that I feel there being there was really no forewarning how far that was going to drop. Yeah, we knew it was going to come down, but we thought it was going to be something gradual. There's really no forewarning in that. You can calculate that. You can. And um, But I really thought that it's my fault. My fault, because I really thought Planet Watch wouldn't let that happen, because that's not good for business. And I would think they're going to have to respond to that. Now, they're, going to, they're doing staking now. That's good. And if I see something come along by July, we'll stake with them too, support the project. But i got to see what's going to happen. I gotta see if Claudio really has experience in running a business. It's only have experience in environmental involvement or data collecting of that nature. But it's another thing in running a business now and taking this on an international level. It's two different animals. So the we're still in neutral on the negative end of neutral though. Especially having how fast the kite is. They just keep they just keep selling and selling. And it concerns me now what they're doing with the with the policy of when they're gonna come out. Shortly, you got to pay 30% up front, and they have four months to get it to you. Now, four months to get it to you, basically, I'm just telling you this kind of the, the short end of the story. And if you don't get it to you four months, they just give your money back to you. So you lose your position, too, from my understanding. That's just not, that's not just, and it doesn't wash. And I, I'm talking to people that are just, just down on the project right now, and they think that they're being taken advantage of. They feel deceived. They feel robbed. Because they were liking watching these plants grow in their wallets, and now there's nothing growing at all, very little. And the, and the actual value has dropped so much, it's really sad. So, DeFi IO team, stay with us, and we'll see you in our next video. We hope you enjoyed this segment of our video with DeFi IoT. Remember, we're not professional advisors. We do this as a business, as a hobby, and we study, we experiment, and we want to share it with you. If you can get some benefit from this, great. What we do is we go out, we purchase with our own money, and we experiment to see what true results are. We want you to be able to share 
and our experiences so you don't have to lose like we have. If you can win where we've won, fantastic. Remember to do your own research and your own homework. It's very important before you make any decisions. We will see you in our next video.